Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about aloe while I repot my new plant. Aloe vera is a succulent plant that grows in hot, dry climates. It originates from the Arabian Peninsula, but grows wild in tropical, semi-tropical, and arid climates around the world. Aloe has been widely grown for decoration purposes, and this species is also popular for its medicinal uses. When potted, aloe vera requires well-drained potting soil and bright, sunny conditions. Aloe can burn under too much sun, and the roots can rot quickly if the soil can't drain properly. The soil of an aloe vera plant should always be allowed to dry before being rewatered. Potted plants can also become overcrowded with pups growing from the side of the mother plant. These can be divided and repotted on their own for an entirely new plant. During the winter, aloe may become dormant and not require much water. If the area is subject to frost or snow, aloe is best kept indoors or in a heated greenhouse. For medicinal use, I consulted the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health. According to them, research has shown that topical application of an aloe-based gel twice daily may improve acne when combined with other treatments. Clinical research also suggests that topical application of aloe gel may improve the healing rate of burns and possibly even reduce the pain caused by those burns. Research also suggests that topical use of aloe may also help those with herpes simplex or psoriasis. Topical use of aloe gel is generally well tolerated, but there have been reports of side effects. Oral use of aloe latex can cause abdominal pain and cramps, and oral consumption of aloe leaf extracts has been related to acute hepatitis. For magical uses, I suggest letting the spirit of the plant do the talking. Some say that aloe is used for protection and healing. Others say that it can be used to seal the lips of those who have wronged you. I prefer to sit with a plant and listen to what it has to tell me. Aloe has a smooth and soothing interior with a prickly exterior. It can heal wounds and ease pain, but it can also keep unwanted things away from you. When the time is right, you can harvest the aloe for your use if the plant gives you permission. You should always be in right relationship with your plant and ask for consent before harvesting any part of the plant. When harvesting, only take what you need and nothing more. To harvest aloe, be sure you choose a thick, smooth leaf on the outside of the plant. Use a sharp knife to cut as close to the trunk as possible. Using a knife is the best way to harvest the leaves, as pulling them by hand can cause tissue damage and may inhibit future growth. Harvesting from your aloe plant should not hurt the plant. 
You should seek to have permission from the plant before harvesting so as to stay in right relationship with the spirit of the plant. It would also be wise to leave an extra offering as thanks for the spirit of the plant allowing you to harvest. As an animist witch, this is very important to me. I hope you enjoyed this little video on aloe and how it can be used. All sources can be found in the description below, and I hope you will stick around. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to my patrons over on Patreon. Your continued support helps me keep doing what I love. Thank you Jess, Rose, Renee, Holly, Blue, and Hillary. If you'd like to help support the work I do, please consider joining me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or making a purchase in my shop at shop.roundthecauldron.com.